Hello Leos. This is your X reading for January 31st through February 6th. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. Thank you guys. Let's see what's going on for you guys currently here. Mm. A lot of you just trying to get over the hurt that you felt um, in this relationship. I feel like, you know, you're trying to just not think about it anymore. Moving on by yourself, um, I think it's begrudgingly. I think there's a lot that has been revealed to you. And um, maybe some of you guys are, you know, even though you broke up with someone, maybe, you know, you were still kind of hopeful. But I, I feel like for some reason right now, um, you guys kind of feel like the situation is hopeless. That's what I'm getting. Aquarius energy right there. Let's see what their current situation is. Your ex. What is their current situation? Nine of Cups. Um, they're, they're just... I feel like this person is... Um, they're trying to be happy. And the key word there is trying. Okay? I think they're having a difficult time. But I think they are hiding behind different things that make them happy. Maybe they're working right now. Maybe they're in entertainment and they're kind of um, burying themselves in that. Um, but I think it's like, it's not genuine. I, I'm just not getting that. Okay. Let's see <clears throat> how you perceive your ex here. How does Leah perceive their ex? Okay. Maybe you feel like they're rigid. Maybe you guys feel like, you know, this person is not going to accept anything less than um, a committed relationship. Some of, some of your exes are, um, you know, in a field of, in the field of spirituality where they may be um, tarot readers, they may be healers, um, they may be counselors, you know, where they're actually like helping people, okay? And maybe in helping people, you know, that's where they're finding, you know, they're happy right now, their happiness, okay? But for a lot of them, um, I think they, they're kind of set in their ways. They have a certain standard that they want, um, they put themselves to, but I think more so that they put other people to. And I feel like they have a certain way of doing things and they like for other people to do that as well. Okay. Taurus energy there. Let's see how your ex perceives you. How does Leo's ex perceive them? Hmm. Well, they may think that you guys are heart heartbroken right now. Um, which I see that, you know, you're really trying to get over something, okay? Um, but they also feel like, you know, you are the source of them being hurt as well. That um, maybe you guys have not spoken. You've not discussed the issues that you, you have with each other. Maybe they feel like you guys are avoiding um, discussing the things that have been done or said here, okay? But they definitely feel like um, you guys are heartbroken, that you disappointed them, and maybe they disappointed you as well, okay? Let's see <clears throat> what you guys can actually do or how you feel about getting back together. Let's see how you feel about getting back together here. How does Leo feel about getting back together? I think you feel like, you know, it could work if you guys can work together. I think maybe you're open to it, but I, I feel more so that um, you feel like, you know, this person is not willing to compromise on things. Like they just want things their way is what I'm getting here. Um, I think that you, you would definitely be willing to work with them if they are willing to work with you. 
because the whole point is for you guys to get to a point where your relationship can be, you know, you can have a happy relationship where you can speak openly and they can speak openly. You can be yourself and they can be themselves here. So I think a lot of you would definitely be open to, um, you know, working on this thing here. I feel like this person definitely is um, in a spiritual field. Okay. Let's see how your ex feels about getting back together. Hmm. I think they would definitely be open, but I feel like this person needs for you to be honest. Open. There's some truth that they, they, they want to hear. They want to talk. They want to talk about what happened between the two of you. They want to tell you how you hurt them, um, what you did. They, they want to talk. They want to talk about whatever issues they had that brought this Three of Swords energy where they feel, felt very hurt, very disappointed that you guys um, are not together even. But, you know, I think, you know, they just really want like this, this, this open conversation where um, neither one of your tempers are flared and you can speak openly and honest. They want to know something. There, there's something that they want to know. They feel like you've kept something from them, okay? Whatever that means for you guys. Let's see how you can help increase the chances of um, reconciliation here. Hmm. I think this is this is looking at or considering that um, what you guys may have done may not have been the right thing to do. Maybe um, if you guys just completely stop talking to this person, um, then there's a need to communicate. If you feel like there's nothing else that you can do here, because that's what the hangman does, nothing, because they feel like, you know, what's the point? almost but also the hang the hanging man also looks inside of themselves to see if you know they possibly did something that you know had a hand in destroying this connection or this relationship okay so i think it's for you to kind of consider you know making a move maybe consider looking inside yourself to see what what you have possibly done in this connection that probably was not, you know, right either. Not really placing blame with someone else and feeling like, you know, there's nothing you can do when there's actually something that you um, could quite possibly do here. Okay. Let's see how can they increase the chances of reconciliation. How can they increase the chances? Hmm. I think it's for them not to be overly emotional. And I don't think that they are at this point, to be honest with you. Um, I think it is for them to approach this from a very logical standpoint. Because we see they're very, you know, they're setting their ways here. And I think they really need to look at this situation logically and, and, and take, you know, your viewpoint in consideration and to consideration as well how you may be feeling how you may be viewing things okay this is to really like you know kind of remove set the feelings aside and um, basically you know see where this thing went wrong between the two of you be willing to communicate okay be in more of their masculine energy be more controlled be more logical okay um, is what I'm getting because I feel like this person probably um, they like things their way and they have a hard time seeing um, things from another viewpoint here. Let's see what the potential outcome is for you guys here. What is the potential outcome? I got two cards here, so I'm going to take them. I think you guys feel very attached to each other here. You feel bonded. Um, but I think, you know, with the, the King of Wands, I think both of your egos um, may be a little flared during this time. 
and I think that um, there's a lot of self-interest here and not really considering the other person's feelings so I think that's the way it's going to remain for this upcoming week is that both of you are kind of in your feelings and um, really just kind of concentrating on you know the hurt that you felt not what you know you both did in this connection to hurt each other okay so we have um, Capricorn energy we have Gemini Libra Aquarius mostly Aquarius is what I see uh, Taurus energy Sagittarius and Pisces okay so my Leo friends I will be speaking with you guys soon